Hey guys, Tenada here. You've probably heard about Sonox Oxford Inflator. It's a plugin which is pretty much close to saturation and wave shaping. And there are a few videos which dissect the exact behavior and show like the exact settings if you were to use some sort of open source or free wave shaper. Um, yeah, I haven't been using it because like the original licensing is bound to iLock, which I personally don't like, but that aside. Currently, there is a free option. Someone remade the whole plugin and it's available as VST3 thing. You can download it. I will leave the links in the description below. And yeah, it's pretty damn good. The idea behind the inflator that it kind of boosts up the lowest parts of the signal uh, but still doesn't cut out fully the loudest ones not like there is some clipping going on but it it's so soft that it is practically almost unnoticeable um and yeah it results in some really interesting sounds let's dive in so here i have simple serum patch it's like basically a sine wave with a bit of lfo and filter going on it's nothing too crazy possibly you can't even hear it but uh, i'll add noise here you'll see a bit of a difference okay fair enough not a whole lot going on if we bring the octave up It's very low, it's basically a sub bass. Yeah, uh, to cut it short, um, if we use JS Inflator on this one, you can see the settings, output, pretty much effects. I don't know how much is that. It's like, is it 100? Yeah, it's 100 effect. Curve is on zero in, no clipping, no splitting, just the way it is. And I kind of copied the, the, the settings and the instance a few bunch of times. I'm enabling the first one right now. So this one only. Let's hear the difference. And I will be uh, enabling them one by one so that you can gradually hear how the sound changes. As you can see, the actually noticeable distortion starts somewhere after five, six in instances. Before that, it's pretty much the like almost identical sound with just a hint of saturation, but quite a bit more level in the, in this case, in the low end. Uh, but yeah, this can be very cool for mastering because it's very subtle. But also we can have some fun with, uh, you know, 808s, disabling three lost of those. We can change this to triangle and that's gonna be a base of its own. Maybe you have heard, yeah, I'm not gonna name tracks, but maybe you will know what kind of sound I'm talking about. get the idea uh, and then let's try the same thing on drums okay I'll get rid of that I'll just you know aim and break it's it's a, a bit sped up version but yeah it's quite dynamic and let's just hear how it behaves with each of the levels of inflator
Yeah, basically you can squash sounds quite hard without OTT. And thing is, why I love this specific sound, it doesn't, like, first of all, you don't get phase shifts, phase changes in the sound itself, which OTT does because it has three filters, or actually two filters. Uh, second reason is the sound is not distorted. It's squashed and feels almost as if it was like compressor working, but it's not compressor. It's just like, you know, you don't get the the pumping feeling from the compressor while using this thing. And as you can see, you can use a lot of layers, a lot of, you know, instances of it, depending on how much you want to squash. We can crank this thing further if you want to start change the curve setting, but then you will hear that the distortion kicks in much faster and like actually you can distort the thing with probably with only one instance if you want. Okay, not in this case, not quite audible here, but let's go with another one. Still, it retains a, the nice punchy sound and for drums, for some basses, this is like the thing you're looking for. Yeah, good stuff. I like it. I'm glad someone made it free available for everyone uh, without any hassle with iLox and whatnot. Yeah, this is good. I like it and I'm going to be using it more and more. Check it out. I'll leave I'll leave the links in the description. See ya. Bye bye.